Hey guys, we are here playing Blue Sun with the new Order and Chaos cards. This hand's pretty reasonable. We've got the new Orion here. So this is kind of like a curtain wall. You can oversight it and good things will happen. Uh, let's, let's booth and ice wall. Seems fine. Now you can oversight it and it protects itself a little bit. And now you can put something in front of it and they can't just run and take advantage of the curtain walls, lowered strength. So like if we had an oversight right now, we could put oversight on our ride and put the ice wall in front of it, which you don't really want to do with a curtain wall because you'll lose the four strength. Against Valencia, we are not playing any Elizabeth Mills. We probably could put one in here if we wanted to because we are running boot camp. Pretty great start. Um, yeah, I don't hate resin this. It's gonna, even with a bad pop, they'll lose three bucks or two bucks. Hmm. That's kind of weird. The bad pop should take effect for paying the toll booth cost. He should be at six dollars. Okay, daily casts. I think we're gonna just hang out for a little bit. Okay, there's an ash, that's decent. The Lotus out. Let's click for money. Take a little slow. Probably bounce the Toolbooth next turn and put the Caduceus instead because she has zero link. Caduceus is pretty good. Yeah, we'll res the Ice Wall. Not sure what to expect yet from Valencia. Indexing a double day job. That's actually amazing. And a Grimoire. So we are going to see some Parasites coming down. And we're not going to have a way to really take advantage of that day job downtime. We don't have any agendas or really much action going on at all. Katie Jones, nice. That's a great choice for this deck. Let's get our Tollbooth back. If we draw Hedge or a Restructure, we'll also want to have put this in our hand. Um, let's put the Jackson out, put the Caduceus out, and yeah, Ice Wall and Lotus will be a perfectly good score remote for the early game. Unless we get blackmailed, of course, but that's what the Ash is here to do. And then Boot Camp later on will help with that. Turn we can draw with Jackson or we can put the Ash down here as well. I might draw to try to get some more money. Or an oversight would be pretty good as well. This does get trashed by David running through it, but so does Curtain Wall, so it's really no different. Okay. It's gonna to money up and go for a strong later game. There is a curtain wall. Let's get an, an oversight. Nope, get a wormhole, which is really just a big code gate ETR, which I'm fine with playing. All right, we'll just play this out and we'll play the ash into the remote as well. Let's see if we can get a blackmail to come out here against it, if that's indeed what's happening. I don't imagine she'll waste one on this. There's Mimic. Uh-oh, we have Caduceus here. Yeah, here comes Ice Wall. So letting me rather res the Ice Wall means she's not necessarily playing Black Males as a main thing.
The mimic could also imply a traditional breaker suite, but not necessarily. It could be like Eater and Mimic as a backup. She's going to be very rich very soon. We don't want this NAPD at all. Let's overdraw. Let's play our oversight. Could have also installed this or installed the Orion oversight it, but it's going to come to basically the same thing in the end. Uh, let's actually draw some more. Yeah, we get another oversight that we want. Uh, let's throw out three agendas. Don't need any of those just yet, and the archives is pretty safe for this turn. Unless he plays David, but with 50 card deck, probably don't see David too early. If this connects, we'll be in pretty good shape, I think. Be able to afford to pay for our Ash. Oh, there's David, and he gets to go to the archives as well. Yep. Well, send our three agendas back. Trash our curtain wall. So coming in here, yep, yep, I'm gonna spend one dollar, I guess. It's not that great, actually, especially if there's a siphon behind this. Maybe resing it was wrong. Actually, I think resing it's pretty wrong. Taxing him one dollar is not that exciting. Let's bring this back. Hoping there's another David. We'll just click for money, I think. I mean, Corroder and nine bucks also gets in this. So there's a good chance he can deny this, but it should cost him more than this David to do so. Pretty cool art, quite like it. Big overdraw, looking for something special. Or just his hand is really bad. Takes the money. Bit of an odd move. So we actually get one buck more than if it was a curtain wall. Pretty nice, so Taurus is maybe not needed in this deck. Let's play this out, let's put the booth back. Want this wormhole anywhere? Like we know he's got parasite, right? So and, and grimoire in his hand. Don't hate putting the wormhole out here. Should maybe have kept one of those agendas. Cause we have kind of a window while he's sticking for breakers. I actually haven't played this guy hardly at all. Maybe a game here and there, but he was pretty highly ranked in the Stim Hack League, and I haven't got a good beat on what he can do. All right, let's bring his heap up. There's the Grimoire, and there's a Parasite. Okay. 
Another ash. Not really what we want, huh? Enigma's good. Um, just a lot of ice. Wow. Okay. Well, the Caduceus is not that good against the Mimic. The Taurus is arguably good. And I think one large ice is probably enough, so I can toss the... Toss the curtain. Yeah, we'll toss the curtain. So there's no agendas there. We can hopefully get a run that won't be on anything. And our ice walls are now like basically dead in the water. So if he has night, he's going to be able to steal out of our remote. Once you put the Orion there instead of the ice wall. But having the ice wall die to Parasite is not the end of the world. He's getting a lot of money. He's going to be able to fight our Ash pretty effectively. Just NAPD. Send Oversight, Send Oversight, and Send Hedge. Will he be able to get in here with $15? I'm going to say he can, and we're going to try the NAPD bait. I feel like he's tricksy enough that he could do this. And then we can follow up with Ash, Alice, Advance, and probably push that one through. Yeah, nice play here. Gets the David in the heap so we can bring it back. So that will deny the next oversight we try to do. Does he have a Lotus Field answer? This is probably the best possible card against Anarchs. Just a little bit smaller than David's strength, but it's bigger than Yogg. It's in the awkward zone. The point where I almost want to run Atman is as a as an anarch. If I want to get rigged through things, Atman is still pretty decent, especially when you have Sekiro's in faction. Is this singularity that would be amazing, actually. No, I'm just a regular run. Well, Lotus Field will say no. So he couldn't get in, or can he? It's kind of still up in the air. This wormhole is a little bit worse, actually. Only has one sub, and David will go through it a few times. He's thinking hard. Does he have an answer? Surely not. Okay. Well, we were wrong, and he did, in fact, get kept out. But we can't actually score it this turn because. Um, we have a bad pub, so we're going to put an extra advancement on that thing. A little bit awkward, but still fine, I guess. So this card obviously is very good. Cease play in essentially every deck right now. The question is, will that change in the future? And I don't know the answer to that. Um, 
Medium dig in progress. We've used two Jacksons already. This is gonna get David. Yeah, I think we still res this just because we want to burn the David tokens and use up uh, her recursion. So when he spends even one token, now he cannot break an oversighted Orion. And he has to spend a bunch of money to, to kill it with um, with Corroder. Yeah, this ice wall is not doing a ton anymore. Gets an Atlas, nice for him. You can now run again and see fresh cards. We're in some trouble, actually. We are in some trouble. He has enough cash that, that uh, our Ash won't do too, too much besides just be a speed bump. Spooned, oof, devastating. Yeah, that's a huge blow for us, actually. So investing that much in ice may have been pretty unfortunate. This is a pretty strong card, especially if you have some way to break Lotus Field, but it's expensive. You can just use Spooned and take care of it permanently. Yeah, we are in a lot of trouble. It's the Pryrek. Ooh. Yep. You know, if this had been an Alice, we would have been able to get a token and do something good with this. But instead, we get an Oversight, which, all things considered, is pretty reasonable. But we're also on the back foot in a big way. We kind of need to purge next turn, which is going to leave us in the row for a long time. And he still has a lot of money in the two day jobs. No, he discarded a day job. He has one day job left. Can he find something to do deal with this? Or will he just pay a lot of money, right? Because he can pay nine with Croder to break this. And he gets a lot of accesses and gets rid of it. I think he should do that. He has the money to do so. Yeah, he's going to click Armitage and blow it up. Have NAPD money left. Uh, five bonus strength in the bad pub and three, yep. Medium dig is huge. What do we do about this? Like we purge when he can run four times, then it's his whole turn as well. Hmm. It's just making sure about that. Uh, we have three restructures left. Maybe we can draw one. That would be pretty good. Advancing this doesn't do much for the time we have left. He's going to load that medium up even further. Okay. We 
Oh, boot camp. We can't really move these ice around, which is too bad. There's the booth would have been great here. Well, no, it would have died to Spooned as well. So there it is. Big dig. Yeah, we got smoked. Pretty cool deck by this guy. Um, just lots of good stuff in there. Spoon was nice. Need to play around that a little more. Thanks for watching.